Hi YouTube, it's Ryan the Tales End, and uh, the reason I'm making this vlog is that I came across this um, news story that my friend had written, and it's from the Daily De De uh, Democrat of uh, Woodland, California. It's a local newspaper from a uh, town that was close to a t uh, the town. Ugh. This is a story that was written by my good friend Lizeth Gazares. Um, she's a uh, rising journalism person, and I was uh, glad to be in clubs with her in UC Davis. The reason I'm making this story is, the byline of the story is, Cancer Keeps Teen From Graduating. I'm going to read part of it. Six months ago, Woodland High School senior Liana El uh, Elizalde told that, uh, was told that a painful lump on her leg was in fact a cancerous tumor. During the surgery, the doctor ended up finding the tumor, and uh, she went. Uh, she said, "We uh, went for a follow-up next week, and she told us there were cancer cells." For the rest of the school year, uh, Elizalda uh, would try hard to balance school and social life, all while ban uh, battling uh, sheath nerve cancer. She even attended prom last month with the drainage bag neatly tucked under her prom dress. Anyway. Um, however, a class absences caused by weeks of radiation treatment and two surgeries continued to mount, and she quickly found herself falling behind in her schoolwork. Many of her teachers gave her makeup tests and extra credit work to keep up. I was falling behind, and you really don't know what you miss until you're there in class. I had to struggle, uh, struggle getting work, and I had to beg teachers and ask, can I get a second chance, and some teachers did give me a second chance. One teacher did it, and it was a class I failed as a junior, and I was making up as, at zero period because I missed so many days, and I was falling uh, behind before I left. The teacher didn't give me a second chance to get cut off. And with, without that class, she found out she was five units from graduation. She only needed 230 units to get her diploma, and she had 225 for five units being the class that she failed. Well. To put a long story short, the principal of the high school, of uh, Woodland High School in, in Woodland, California, Principal, uh, uh, Evelia, 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 Evelia Genara Ramirez, uh, told her that she could not graduate, even though the adversity of having cancer, she could not um, walk, which is a normal understanding thing. It's supposed to be a punishment to people who are not within the guidelines to graduate high school. But we're talking about a girl who had a sickness, a legitimate sickness, something that she didn't do to herself, something that she had no control over. She had to get radiation treatment. She probably, you know, got really sick. She probably couldn't go to school. I find this really pretty infuriating because myself, I am a cancer survivor. And for those who don't know, I had skin cancer. And although that may not be the, the cancer of choice for people, choice, cancer's not a choice. I used to call it my ass cancer, but you know, that's pretty insensitive. It wasn't my ass. But how do you get cancer, like skin cancer on your butt? And you, the sun doesn't go there. The sun don't shine there. Isn't skin cancer usually in places where you like have a lot of sun, like on your face or something? Anyway, back to the story. Now I understand that she had failed a class, but she's not the first person to have failed a class. This was under her own volition, and this was something done because maybe she was lazy, or maybe she didn't get it, or she didn't like the teacher, whatever, whatever. Whatever it may be, she was making up the class so that she could graduate and be a responsible high school student, as responsible as you could be. And I agree that you should punish people who deserve punishing, and this is one of the ways that the, that school district and a lot of other school districts would react in this situation. The, the, the principal won't budge. The principal won't budge on this. She doesn't have enough units, she won't be able to walk. And the, the mother's argument is, you know, through all of the, 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 
the trials and tribulations of having cancer, she should be able to walk. And I tend to agree with her. This was not her fault. Getting the F earlier, that was her fault. But at the same time, if they won't let her graduate, the, the, the principal, I mean, and this is an extenuating circumstances, what other circumstances would they not allow someone to graduate? They got into a car accident if they broke all of them, uh, they broke their arms and legs or something, um, if they, their, their parents died. Is this an acceptable excuse? Tell me what you think. What would you do in this situation if you had cancer and the, the high school that you went to did not allow you to actually graduate? What would you do? Would you sue them? Would you just say whatever? What would you do? I mean, it is a privilege to graduate and it's a privilege to walk at high school graduation as it is a privilege to graduate from a university. Is it really within the, the rights of that principal to do that? And if so, was that the right decision for her to give this student with cancer? Tell me your thoughts. It's Ryan the Tales End. Talk to you soon.